and say no, let's not do it. We'll see what the tempo is like as we go into game two. Can Echo reset and take us to one and one as we enter game number two in this best of five? Already can ex Whoa. Already there is a lot of pressure in the purple buff. Kibo already putting so much pressure early on. Actually stealing away the little purple buff here. Might be it forcing is. a red tree early on. Kyrie already on the orange buff a bit quicker. Carl's gonna be forced to use the red tree here. Ooh, very close. Use the red tree in the end. Keyboy with a bit of sass there. And recalls. There was no way for Yaoi to help. Wait. Yaoi's gonna be doing a massive freeze. He's gonna freeze every single, single minion wave. But he cannot help because. Boots and Keyboy, they can just invade because Yaoi only, is only holding onto the Guardian's barrier. Okay, a little bit of an invade once again, just both teams skirmishing a little bit in the jungle. But this, this does give Kyrie a bit more of a better time farming compared to Carl Tizi. And the whole situation up top isn't as good for Benny either. He is outranged, he's oh. going to oblige. Ooh. He's got oh. burst. Those basic yeah. attacks don't do much against uh, the early kit of one Harrit. Exactly. Remember, remember the Harrit though. It's a, it's, it's, a, it's a hero that can actually just deceptively good range just because of the synchro fission. Still is very mid range though. But against Melissa, at least you have the way to kind of deal with the added range of the models. And close the gap, exactly. if you will. And that kind of makes it a 50-50, especially if you're looking yep. at a gold laner as brave yep. as Benny Cutie. Yes. And Yaoi stayed, what, for a minute? So that's about two minion waves that he blocked with the Guardian's Barrier. It meant that Chewe will have to be nearer the turret of Echo. What? Sun stole it away. The gold drop a little win there for Onyx. They built up for this turtle, but Sanford He's gonna be caught by Thunder Climb. Actually canceled out as well. The Petrify even. The first blood king falls to Onik. As Onik pick up first blood. Now it's a rest of his battle. Carl wins it. Now with the wild charge as well. Also keyboard, but he's able to jump poo out of there. Now Kyrie with the lock up and the appraise is bad. Sans picks up another. It's a two for one trade. Turtle pit in for kills as Keyboy disengages. And Onik win out on the trade. Mm -hmm. Good terrify coming up from Sanjit. And really aiding Kaltizi in that engagement. The fact that Echo got it, that's the Gutter Turtle that was so good for their team. However, Onik, oh. you cannot deny the fact that the two kills that Sans was able to get means that Harry will be threatened later on. Good thing though, Benicuti does have the Purify. Yep, and uh, again, when it comes to turtle takes or any major objectives, you have to learn how to trade. Teams are getting so much smarter at that. Yeah. And again, at this level of competition, economy counts. And that's what put Onik here a thousand gold ahead mm -hmm. in under three minutes. That's huge. This that's, is a big thousand gold. That's important. That is important for uh, Onik for sure. And Keyboy kind of recovered. Still, Benny Cutie, you're going to ask, when is he going to be activated? I think sooner for sure compared to um, com compared to Chewe. And Echo needs to really summon the Echo Express now. Onik is going to be snowballing if they don't start trying to make a play. Just the same. It's so hard to say when you have this bottom lane, this XP lane that is going on forever again. Whoever commits is wasting time and it looks like Boots wait, is winning! Wait, Boots is winning the 1v1. He's going in all the way, forcing Sanford to flicker under his turret. Mm -hmm. Boots gets taken low as well though. That's the first skill for you, trading evenly. But look at the positioning of one Sans. Oh. Look at to pinch him down. Sanford notices something fishy, walks all the way back. Proper respect from the world champion. Meme on top side, CW. He's gonna fall. That's Benny with the kill. An Echo trade. Oh, great trade coming out from Echo and the aggression. Like I said, activation of Benny Cutie. That is what's needed. And with a minute to go before the outer third, third energy shields go down, they will make a move up top, which means that there will be even more gold for Benny Cutie. Yep, and uh, because of that uh, space made up top, Echo can now make way for the turtle. Pulled over, Keyboy engages, watch Sans, and there's a kick! Purify though, instantly now, Sans jumps into the back line with the rough waves as well. Sanji gonna be able to escape as Keyboy jumps out of the jump pool! Kyrie finds the kill back, now Sanji also trading in for Keyboy. Kyrie looking for some stacks, Well, they plays his back, he goes for it! Retry battle here, get the Carl, the go, picks it up! CW free hitting in the back line right now with a model placement on point! Sanford's gonna fall, and Onik once again Again, win on a team fight. As you can see, Boots charging, walking them down with an unbending will. Benny recalling. This should give CW some room oh, to go for the turret. No. Kyrie now knocked up by the wild charge, but should be able to pick up the purple buff. Was it Yaoi? No. It was Yaoi. Oh, it's Yaoi. Okay. It was Yaoi. That's still a win. 
I think Onyx still came out on top. And again, that's yeah. deja vu from the first turtle. Yep. The second turtle that happened, it was again Echo getting it and Carl TC just flexing his retribution. But Onyx, they're winning the team fights. So that is what matters most in the second and the third turtle. It would matter if you get the turtle gold, but if you lose two people in the, the process and the enemy doesn't, that's economic advantage for the team that won the team fight. So Onyx really had a better trade afterwards, especially because they activated Jewe in that fight. So he got a little bit of gold in that in, in that skirmish. We gotta watch out for that gold lane X factor. It's interesting because the XP lane, usually a good friend of ours would say is the X factor, but here's the gold lane. Failed conceal play. Nice, we miss you. <laughs> I swear, if, if, if this wasn't a Masha Trizla, we would have seen more fights down there. Yeah. But now it's the Melissa versus Harith, and they're also just both waiting for their teammates. Look at this. Look at this sandwich. Look at this positioning. Mm -hmm. Sanford finds uh -oh. Keyboy right there. The Shunpu is no longer ready for Keyboy. Phantom Execution as well. Keyboy's looking for the old there. Sans, Petri fire up with him. No way he survived this. Benny dives in, but Sans finds a trade. The one for one as a shutdown, so Benny no Cutie way. definitely gets some more pressure there. But the turret, the turret does not fall. The minute wave was cleared in, and Boots in the bottom lane was able to find one. The fact that they cleared out the minion wave on Sans, it was a 3v1 that he survived afterwards. Well, he did die, but he took one kill. Then on the opposite end, you have a free turret. Onyx still winning. That's macro trade-off. Oh, and Sanji's gonna be caught on the Plays with Wrath. Keyboy looking for the oh. play. Just knocks him up. Backs up with the shampoo. Kyrie with the taunt now. Getting some resets on those cooldowns. Skill one and two. Having more pressure. Boots home. Almost. And Boots does have the thunderclap. So it might as well have been frame perfect escape. Now Kyrie pulls the turtle. About half health near the tip of its nest. Carl TZ still here. Once again, it's the goat versus the one, and Boots going 1v1. Now bottom! Where the dragon popped in. It's gonna be 100 to 0. Keyboy still able to escape with a jump. Who flickers out of the fence of execution as Kyrie oh. jumps on with a taunt. Carl TZ locked down. Zaman Force now by Bike. Benny Cutie onto the back line all the way, but he's gonna be caught in the taunt. And CW, he's going for the hit. Now penalty zone onto the back. Zoning CW. Boots. Meanwhile, Boots in a bit. He finds one kill, and it's gonna be a two for three. Still in favor of Echo. Kyrie picks up the purple buff. Call TZ onto the orange buff. Kyrie still trying to defend this mid lane by himself as Benny sieges it down. But it seems like Kyrie should be able. Nope, that's the demand force. That's the oh. presence. Oh. Oh. Kai, he saves the turret. Woo. Oh. Just as Carl TZ steps on the clutch, Benny Cutie maintains to be the force of nature that he is. And in that specific fight, it was the explainers trying to outplay each other by not engaging against each other. They went into the backlights, but Sanford had the better jump, especially because Benny Cutie was already oh. able to put Sans low with his uh, jump with the Zaman Force. Kyrie evening up this orange buff because uh, uh, Carl TZ actually took his. Yeah. Oh, zone. He's out of there. That's the Fredrin for you. Wow. The most honest Blue form of Grand Theft yeah. Orange. Yeah. Literally <laughs> stealing it in front of your face. <laughs> no contest whatsoever. No flashy moves. There's literally a dude walking in there yep. taking the Orange. Kyra, you can have this. Yeah. <laughs> Fun fact, the go away from Melissa cancels out the penalty zone. So if he times it well, it should be a very easy cancel. Two-man taunt. Whoa. Oh, what? Now with a with a wild charge, the on force now popped in with the dragon by Key Boy. Call TZ jumping in. CW with a good position right now. Steve Boy's gonna be jumped low. Jumpu out of there. CW with a free hit with the fire. Oh! Sanford jumps into the penalty zone for Key Boy. Finds a kill back. Sanford not finding the range right now, but Sanji's looking for him. Key Boy will fall. But guess what? Onik have won in that bottom side or top side river. Yep, two for one here, and they got Benny Cutie. They also don't know Sanford now. Call TZ. Fourth to puncture out, Boots is recalling in his face as he shows the alter ego, Team Eno. Oh, oh, oh. And now they have regained the, the position onto the Lord. Echo, no, no chance. Actually, they will try. Wow. They're gonna wow. go for it. They're gonna go for it. Beware of Boots. That's the main thing right now that can stop Echo, especially their back line. Sanji, I think, has been just targeted down many times. Yep. You gotta watch out. You hear the crowd, they're here for Onyx. Lord here at a fourth of its health. Let's go, that's gonna be the spawn force. Benny Cutie not able to hit right now. If Boots does some damage, who's gonna get the retry? Boots! Who finds it? No retry! CW free hitting the back with the goal away as well. Sanford taking low. Kyrie locking Yaoi up. Yaoi forced a flicker out of the breath of the ocean. How does Boots do it? He basic attacked it. Was that how bad the situation was? That's how. 
chaotic as it was for both Echo and Onik that it was only Masha was able to just scratch away. Scratching, like Masha with normal attacks, not even a thunderclap. It was because of the two playmakers from both teams just taking away both junglers. It was the kick coming up from uh, Keyboy. You're gonna see. Look at the okay. kick coming up from Keyboy. With no the way. Dragon. Then of course Sandford. The Lord knocked them off both Exactly. But and they utilized the red tree far too late. Was you ne right. you'll never see that again. Who's to say? You'll never see that again. Who's to say it wasn't even a scratch? What if it was a pick off of Molten Essence? Maybe. It is was, it, is oh it that man. bad? It is that bad. By the way, it uh, very smart from Keyboy. I don't know if it was intended, but the delivery with the way of the dragon into the, the the finality of the stun was just in sync with the skill of the Lord. Which added a knockoff, so essentially he had another way to it combo it. It was a chain it. CC. Exactly. The Filipino bush. The Someone's Filipino, in the Filipino bush. bush. Oh, Tiawi in there. Charles oh. DZ in the middle of four. Uh oh, this might be a lockdown. Has the puncture? Gets out. Just a little siege going on as Echo aren't able to micromanage the waves up top. Oh, oh did he spot Yaoi? Yaoi did he seal? He did. Sand spots him out. I don't think Yaoi wants to go for anything here. Meanwhile, Boots down below. They gotta be careful here. Yeah, Filipino bush is dangerous. Yeah. If uh, the opponents are aware, you're basically sandwiched. You're yeah. left in no man's land. And yeah, we knew the way out. Yep. Yeah, at least, luckily, the purple uh, buff wall was down. Yep. So he can cross right through. He wasn't punished. And here, Carl is struggling to keep it. Okay, Carl. The puncture now. Jumping on. That's Kyrie. Like, he got it. I believe now. CW! So much damage. Sandy steals the rough ways, but Boots is falling down. The knockup comes through. Stand for the back. Look at the damage. Well, CW has the feel. And CW! He survives! Four and oh! Onyx are looking to find match point. Betty Cutie, the only man left standing. A miracle is what he needs. Onyx on the base. Keyboy with a flanker. Onyx, they are building and they have secured match point. This is all heart. This is all conviction. Onyx have come in with a mission. Echo have been pushed to their limit unlike never before. It wasn't a clean fight at all. Onik, the reason why they look so good is because Echo was also so good. Everybody's just like Super Saiyan mode. And in that last purple buff fight, who would have thought, right? The final clash will be around the purple buff, not the Lord, not the turtle wherever, not a turret push. Purple buff. Carl TZ was so starved that he wanted to take that, but the entirety of Onik, including the Indonesian fans, was there. Who'd have thought needing the purple buff would be 